hard to come. Okay. Um, did did both of you guys watch the How to Make Dollars Selling Avon? Yes, did I you did. Watch that tonight, Kim. Part of it. Okay. Okay. All right. So I'm just gonna kind of bring it out a little bit in categories to relate it and have a discussion about what we saw. And of course, they went through both of you know the levels. <coughs> Excuse me. Both of you know the sales levels. Both of you know about the rewards that Avon is giving. But if you don't, if you're watching this recording and you don't know about those things, you know, I can direct you on where to find them at avon.com. But the key thing there is tracking your progress. So now where she pointed out on at avon.com to track your progress on where you, how where you're at, what your goals are, whatever they are. Do you both know? Did you both understand that progress tracking? I'm sorry, that last part. I'm, Did you I'm both sorry, understand the progress tracking at Avon.com? Yeah, well, what I like doing with that progress tracking is that, you know, you get it, you get one at the end of each campaign for your current campaign. So that's why I'm not worried about looking for it online through the store. I mean, through our site, because we get uh -huh. an email on it at the end of each campaign. Right. But let's say you're I'm like, like we are. And let's say that when it came to the end of earning a destination or whatever, then you would want to be tracking that daily. <coughs> so instead of waiting till the end of the campaign, because sometimes then that's too late. I like looking at it too, to see that like it tracks, like I'm in President's Club now, so it tracks President's Club. But if I'm wondering what, I have to do for honor society, I can just change it. And right. then it tells me what I need to do for honor society. So yeah, I think I like that cool too. How it lets me know and tries to push me to do those kind, you know, to do it. Or, I mean, unfortunately too, I can look at it and say, oh, you know what? I'm just going to keep trying really hard to do my best at president's club rather than honor society. But if I'm close to honor society, I can be like, oh yeah, I'm so close to moving up. I can do that too. Right, right. That's that's the key part there that you can see what you need to get to another level if you want to. So that's that that's important. That's the important part. So now, were you on uh, when they were talking to both Charmaine and Julie, the two representatives? Okay, five years is all they had been with Avon. And they were both in Hawaii, right? So they told their story. So now I think what I want to do, and, and I wish that more were on, but they're going to hopefully watch this recording. What, what is your story? And we're going to go individually if, if you want to share. If you don't, of course, you don't have to. But what do you want to do more of? You want to start, Roger? What do you want to do more of? Well, right now, I want to get my customer base back. That's the biggest part of what I'm dealing with right now. Okay. You know, okay. And so I'm wanting to come up with ideas and how to get that and achieve that, you know, because with the uh, current loss of sales still going off my business, I need something really good to happen like right now. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. Okay, well, we'll talk more about ideas right. on that. Um, Kim, what do you want to do more in your business? I, of course, would love to make more money, earn more trips and get all the big, big things. But um, I'm also, I also kind of have a limitation of what I can do too, because I love my full-time job. Mm -hmm. And I want to keep that and I have, and then I want to work it. <laughs> mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. And I have two kids and a husband and my parents that I help out a lot too. So I don't have a lot of time to put into Avon 
Mm-hmm. So um, I get excited if I get a new team member. Like mm-hmm. I don't have the time to put in a whole lot of effort for it, but I've gotten some, which I don't know how, but, but I'll take them however they come. Um, <laughs> Same with customers, like, you know, customers will give me more sales awards, which will help to get any of those awards. So um, I want more, but I also don't have the time necessarily to put in for it also, Mm -hmm. but I will do whatever I can and I will share whenever I can and keep going. Okay. Okay. So, um, now uh, my next question and we're going to we're going to circle back and cover some of those possibilities for both of you but how you're both in PRP okay right right so how has PRP changed your business oh my god PRP's changed my business to where that once i hit it that first time it's it, it's like an addiction you hit it once, you, which means that, okay, PRP is the drug. You try it once, you, you're addicted. You want to keep on in the PRP mm-hmm. simply because of the earnings level that comes with it. Okay. It also, help, it also helps me set goals to try to beat my sales uh, from the previous year. At each year, hit PRP. And although I did have a lot of negativity going on. I still beat my sales by less than a hundred bucks from the year before. So okay. 2021, 2020, yeah, 2021 sales were less than a hundred bucks over 2020 sales. So I still met my goal. Yeah. And eventually I'll eventually I'll make the trip. Yeah. Okay. And Kim, what how has PRP changed your business? I am very fortunate that I have always been President's Club. Um, I got President's Club my first year just by luck, really. Um, no, I did get- you can't say by luck because you, <laughs> you did can't, no, you what can't. it needed to be done to get there. I guess I did what I needed to then. Mm-hmm. Um, I did get Honor Society one year, which was really exciting. Um, but I've had President's Club every year. And Roger's right. It's like an addiction that you don't want to lose. Like, I, I don't want to exactly. lose it. Um, I'm pretty fortunate that I have customers, though, that allow me to be President's Club. So okay. I have kept it. Um, yeah. But I would love to strive further. Like, yeah. I would like to be Honors Club, Honor Society again. Yeah. Okay. And maybe Rose. Oh, oh yeah, and further up. I'll do yeah, to give yourself a raise, five percent raise. Yeah, I understand. So I want, something else I want to say about President's Club for anybody that's watching that's not President's Club. There's other perks to it besides just the award sales. I mean, come on, you get Christmas gifts from Avon, birthday gifts, anniversary gifts. You just start getting all kinds of stuff from Avon when you hit PRP. Mm-hmm. That's, I guess, that's another addiction <laughs> to PRP. I guess it's the perks. It's the perks. Yep. Yeah. And then on that milestone, getting a nice plaque to commemorate five years, that was also something that is also only PRP or above. Right. right. And so now, Roger, I know you hit five year. Kim, what what age are you and anniversary? Roger and I are the same. I joined January of 2016. I think he joined like February. I, just, I joined. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So you're like, you're like 11, 11 months ahead of me because um, I joined Ooh. December 2nd, 2016. Oh, okay. So, okay. You're yeah. one at the beginning of the year and one at the end of the year. So that's, that's exciting that that, that's how that worked. Okay. So now, as far as changing your business, they were talking about bundles and different things like they did uh, once they reached that level. And is there anything that you guys want to share that once you le- reached President's Club or when you were earning more, what you felt you could do more? 
Well, what I caught, I guess the biggest thing, and I kind of felt like I, right after it was said about these bundles thing, what was mentioned, I was like, oh my God, how come I never thought of that? The free bundles that we were getting, the free stuff that we were getting from Abel, I'm selling it for half price. Okay. Okay. So you I would have never up. gave that any thought, but that's on my future now. Yeah, that that works. Anything that that you picked up as she was talking, Kim? No. Okay. Um, I don't do a lot with the bundles. Okay. I've bought them before and then not sold them. So unless I know that I can use the bundles or I personally am going to, um, then I don't usually do the bundle thing. Okay. So now the next one coming up with the uh, bug guard is kind of uh, tempting. <laughs> bug guard is a big seller for me. Last year alone, just give you an idea. I took advantage of the bug guard bundles from last year. I actually ended up getting two of them before it was gone. I sold every single bottle of it during my Father's Day event. Bug guard was completely ran out. I had 24 bottles of each one mm -hmm. and they were gone. Bug guard sounds like crazy. Okay. So Kim, when you, uh, you could take bug guard to the boys' uh, ball game. Right, and I have uh, and shared it uh, that, just because we've had it for ourselves. Um, but I, I, I can't seem to predict what people are gonna buy and want so right but it, you know maybe just make up a little flyer about the bug guard and it doesn't have to be right that moment mm -hmm. but then they have something <laughs> tangible to take with them and you know the next time the bugs are really bad they're gonna go hey kim you know right right and, uh, hey, I, yeah. I want your... one of you though i want one of you to do my reports and flyers <laughs> but we'll share hey i tell you what of course of course i will I might be a smart ass, but I'll do it for you. <laughs> okay, watch the language, Darwin. I'm being nice and censoring myself. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, what, okay, now it's not, oh, um. You're talking the, about Bug Guard. Mm -hmm. One of the biggest things about Bug Guard that I absolutely love about it, this is the biggest way to get sales that you, that you can. Um, it's a door opener. Yeah. Well, it's yeah. not just that, but it's the door opener is like, Avon, ooh. You got any of that skin so soft that's supposed to help with uh, um, repelling mosquitoes? I said, yes, I do have some of that. However, it's not marketed to be for mosquitoes. Uh, and then I made it sound good. I'm like, however, Avon did listen by creating skin so soft, bug guard, Picaridin, and IR 3530, I'm uh, sorry, Picaridin and Expedition, mm -hmm. you know? so that it kills more than just mosquitoes. I said, the skin so soft is there, but it's, it kills other things now besides the mosquitoes. <laughs> and then if, if they're really interested, the, the, the hook that gets them to buy it, because when they start showing really big interest, is that it's saying, oh, it's also recommended and endorsed by the CDC. They're like, oh, right. really? Okay, I'll take this one. Yeah. Right, because they will... <clears throat> they will ask me too at events and I will say it works. It works. And then you give them a testimonial about how it works. Yeah. And that does it. But remember one other thing, if it's, if whether it's a customer ordering it or whether, you know, and they have a book or they don't have a book, whatever it is, I always give them the regular price in the book and then offer a twofer. I'm not really giving them any more of a special than what's in the book at the sale price. But when they hear the regular price of whatever $30 or whatever the regular price is. And Maybe a buck or two less than the double the sale price. And then, and then, you know, I'm that selling, moves it. That moves it. selling that's, that's two worth instead something. of one. Yeah, I'm selling two instead of one. And that, you know, of course, going to build your earnings. But before we go back into more selling techniques, 
what about the tools, the tools that they were talking about that you can leverage that Avon supplies you with? Well, other than the Avon U, that's the biggest leverage thing that you can use to learn about the products. Yeah. You know, Avon product U. knowledge is a very big thing in our business. Mm -hmm. You know, if somebody asks you something, you don't want to stand there and go, um, um, the flipping through a brochure. That's why I always make it a point that if a lesson something specifically for women, I will order it and I will try it. And if I like it, I will continue using it. See, you want to be able to tell a customer, hey, this is what to expect, not just what the book's telling them. Yeah, knowledge is power. Knowledge is power. I've always said that. But mm -hmm. I also found if we're going into the social media side of it, that when I do lives on something and show either myself using it or just myself, my face, it's amazing what the results you will get. It is. I've got pictures. I have pictures I need to post yet of the new, uh, um, of the new volcanic lava. Mm -hmm. The facial cleanser and the nose strips and the uh, balm. I've got all three of those. I'm actually liking it because if you notice, there's like a, a nice glow going on in my skin I didn't have before. Mm -hmm. Since I started using all three of those at the same time. Okay. So now, Kim, what tools have you found that, that help you? With social media? Well, with social media or any tools that Avon gives, whether it's, you know, uh, Avon training, Avon U, uh, the lives, testimonials, uh, Avon Live, Avon A-list show, anything. See, I Avon do does lives, but I and I've been promoting them, especially on Facebook. But I don't feel like I've had the participation. At least I haven't heard of it. You know, heard people. The live presentation. But I think the lives are awesome. I think that it's so cool. Just like you'd said that you use the products on your live and people know. I think it's way cool because I know this sounds really crazy that I sell Avon, but I'm not a makeup person. Right. I wear makeup. Neither am I. <laughs> right. <laughs> but I don't wear makeup. I, I work at a scrapyard now. I used to work at a bank. When I worked at the bank, I felt like I should be professional and I wore some makeup. But at the scrapyard, nobody cares. And so I don't wear it. Right. Um, and my husband doesn't care whether I wear makeup. So I almost never wear makeup. Mm -hmm. um, I like a lot of the other stuff that Avon has. But I, so therefore I can't really, like Roger says a lot of the times, you know, I can't, I don't promote makeup very much because. I just don't use it. Mm -hmm. um, but the lives do that for me. Right, right. They promote it, they use it, they show it, and they show you how to use the products. And I think they're great. Yeah. Um, I just wish I got more participation with those. Um, I do a lot of posting um, on Facebook using um, the like scheduling posts so they post throughout the day okay so i really that's a tool not that's not one that avon gives us but that's a tool that i use almost every day and that Just works like, with your working okay. yeah mm -hmm. I, I, I'll tell you said what, one most... day why do you post something at 3 a.m well i want people to see it when they get up i want people to it already to be there for them when they wake up and he's like, well, were you up at three? And I'm like, no, I wasn't up at three o'clock. Like, <laughs> right. So, but it I works cool. because it's the first thing on their, on their list when they to turn on Facebook. Right. It's, you know, an algorithm kind of thing. Okay. That's good. Well, and now a, a tool, uh, another tool that I've used in the past um, I've gotten results of it, not as good as I want. That's why I was asking you about the mass texting that you're using, because mm -hmm. I want to try something a little bit different this time around, mm -hmm. and um, which is send out a mass text to everybody in my address book stating, hey, check your email at such and such time tomorrow. 
because there's going to be a code in there for a free gift if you order from my online site this month, this campaign. See, that's why I was asking you about right, that. Right, right. I want to and send I them know. a want to yeah. send them a text, letting them know, hey, you guys got a code for a free gift in your email. Right. If they've got email, what about if they don't have email? Well, I wasn't, I have gotten that far yet. I'm still trying to think on things, Don. I'm trying yeah. to think outside the box here now. Okay. Or as I okay. say, think outside the box. But I know game. that you have in the past gone live and offered something free for ordering in a certain campaign or whatever. And has that worked for you? Uh, it just depends on whoever's watching at the time. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's a good thing. Sometimes nothing happens. Okay. So, I guess it all depends on the free item that I'm offering. But you know what? That's why I want to kind of start offering that more through the uh, uh, promotion tool. Promotion tool. You know, so mm -hmm. that the free items ain't coming out of my inventory. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know? Right. Because some of that promotion tool is is not costing you anything. So exactly. That you do got to be careful, though, about when you're setting up those promotions. I'm saying that just for the, uh, you know, because everybody watching, because some of those promotions will cost you money, right? cost you your earnings. So if you're going to set up those promotions, set up the ones that it's at no cost to you, right. unless you can afford to be losing your earnings. And they will, they, so, yeah. you, can, you can pick and choose wisely on which promotion tools are, are best to use. But sometimes... Sometimes it's worth it to give up a little bit of earnings to get a get an order you would have not had otherwise, and a new customer. They only have to they only get no. the discount earnings one time. Oh. Right, right. So then it could be repeat sales, is what I think he's trying to say. So if right. if you are getting someone in in the skincare line, then it's going to be repeat sales. If they're if they like what they got free, then you know they're going to reorder it when that is gone. So I'll tell you something that works too. I mean, I'm sorry. I'll just say quick thing. I've done this. I've had. I still have a customer that she comes to my online store to order skincare every now and then. Mm -hmm. She just did that last campaign, and so I sent her an email first, thanking her for her order and letting her know that since she ordered. The uh, the uh, a new ultimate day cream. I was gonna tell her, hey, there's another day cream that's very very similar, does the exact same thing as a new ultimate, except for now we include the power of the peony, you mm -hmm. know, and to let her know that I'm gonna be sending her some Isanox LX new, um, a uh, new uh. You know the uh, for the uh, Isanox, you know the day cream right. and night creams for that the new ultimates, but with the Isanox instead of the regular new ultimate. So you know, try to switch it over to the some uh, free samples is what you're saying. You're gonna send yeah, I told her I sent her that I, yeah, I sent her a letter. I sent her I sent her a letter thanking her for her order, and it also had I gave her like three days worth of samples of each. Because, mm -hmm. you know, when my, when, because when she orders right now, any orders I get that if I could send them some, they're going to get something. And sometimes I won't let them know it's coming until it arrives in their mailbox. And they're like, whoa. You know? <laughs> so, right. That's always a good surprise, a fun surprise when you get right. something you weren't expecting. So, and I think the key part now, Kim, do you have any, um, do you have any online customers that go through your online store? You're muted. So in case you yeah. yeah, I have customers that go online and and some that I've never met that they just always order online. Um, yeah. So that's kind of cool. Um, I have one lady that started out being a face to face customer and then now she's online, which I love. I wish more of that would happen. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Not that yes. I don't like to see them, but, you know, it just takes time to deliver and it takes then I want to chat and then I'm mm -hmm. delivering for hours, but yeah. and then I feel yeah. bad because that's really the only time that I see them. So, yeah, right. But when you do get online, you send the email, thank you to them for their order and follow up kind of thing. I should. 
Okay. As you should. I was sending um, thank you notes in the mail with the with samples, the flat ones that we used to get that you could peel. Yeah. Um, I would send thank you notes, but I would I only really kind of did it like twice a year, maybe. But I would just write, you know, thank you for your recent purchase or your last purchase or you know however I would word it mm -hmm. um and send them the the samples but now that we don't have the flat samples anymore I haven't mm -hmm. figured out what to do differently well, you know, what? Skincare samples. You know the, the easiest thing to do is just cut and paste their email and that's all I do I just shoot them back an email Thank you for shopping my online store. I appreciate you and your loyalty, Dawn with Avon. Simple thank you email. I honestly have never sent samples to them for an online order. It's just a simple thank you. And a lot of times I get you're very welcome in my response. So they appreciate that little bit. So right. don't feel okay. that you have to have samples for all of them. You don't. Well, maybe just, I will just start doing that email. Just an acknowledgement. Just an acknowledgement is they're very, very happy with that. And I've never sent samples. So don't feel okay. you have to. You have to do that. Just a quick copy and paste, put it into an email and then say the subject, thank you. And then two lines and then your name that's yeah. it okay so that's a key thing so um now i'm gonna go back i'm gonna go back like i promised and we're gonna talk about some ways that maybe would help with um getting more customers would be with getting higher sales reaching these reward levels for those of you on the on this uh, Zoom and for those of you that may be listening to the Zoom at a later date. So how do we get more sales? Okay. Uh, tell me what you guys think might get you more sales, first of all, and then I'll give you suggestions. Uh, let's see, first thing that usually works for getting more sales is that when you are getting a sale, try to cross, try to do a little bit of a, a cross selling. Cross you know, selling. okay. Yeah, cross selling is a not just thing. a lipstick, something to go with it. Well, you now that you got that nice, pretty lipstick, how about a piece of jewelry to go along with it, just to accent? You know, yeah, it works. Or Other if times it's to $40, no. so huh? on that get it bag. Yeah. Oh, I, mean, I love that. Gotta, gotta, great get value. Value. gotta get it bag with the $40. I've been selling order. those like crazy. Add and $10. Been... Mm hmm. Okay. Um, um, anything else that just comes to mind to you guys? Other, you know, other than having vendor events, you know, which I'm still scheduled for, for Father's Day. And I told my kid he's taking me, and there's no question, you know, there he's you taking know. me to. There you so, go. Yeah. So that that was the other a vendor events. Another good way to get sales, Facebook Lives and actually using the product you're talking about during a Facebook Live. Mm -hmm. Don, I'm gonna tell you, I almost I was almost gonna share your your uh tipsy, your tipsy on my business page. I came very close to that. I'm still considering it. Because I can't say, I'm not going to try to demo makeup. So I, I rely on a lot of my Avon sisters with that sort of thing. So I, I love the name of this tipsy lip oil, drunk, shiny lip oil. I love, yep. I love it. I love it. And and it is really, it is really good. I mean, I, I was surprised because I went online with it, had never tried it before. This was like, as real as you can get and i was just applying it for the first time and you know what i got so many followers with that they love when i go online and just be stupid just be stupid don't sometimes you got to be stupid to get the sales 
it's not, it's not perfection at all. It's not perfection at all. It's just stepping out of the comfort box because that is stepping out of the comfort box for me is by going live and I force myself to do it. Mm -hmm. So if you're talking social media and I have been through many networking groups, live, 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 live is the way to go. Okay. Yeah. With social media, get it as real and as live as you can. Now, Kim, let's say uh, it doesn't have to be makeup either for whoever is watching this go live at a ball game with bug guard. Apply it. I'm at my son's ball game or whatever. And I'm just going to show you that I'm applying it right over my clothes. And I'm not, hey, that getting, actually works. And that I'm not works. getting bit, you know, you got to make sure you tell them I'm getting behind my ears around my ears. All of that, because those pesky mosquitoes will find wherever you miss. I promise you. Don't, yeah, that that does work. Because last year, when you know, last like the, the early fall, when me and my son and my grandson all went magnet fishing, I thought, okay, this would be a good way to like just take a picture of me holding a can of bug guard down at the canal where we were at, mm -hmm. and it actually got me some bug guard sales because. One of the actually two of the people that ordered bug guard off me told me it's because of the location I was at. Oh, okay. yeah, it's a it's a big fishing spot in, in the, the next town over. It's a very big fishing spot. And we went there okay. magnet fishing and took bug guard. I got orders right there. OK, so so then again, live, whatever, <clears throat> whatever you're using, because we all know Avon's got all kinds of stuff it doesn't it's not only makeup okay um other ways um to increase your sales um before and after pictures before and after pictures and we're for talking social still that mm -hmm. but what about if we're not talking social well what, about, what i do okay. what i do when i'm at my vendor shows Mm -hmm. I actually have a picture of my skin and me looking god awful back when I was 47 years old. And that picture is in an eight by 10 picture frame that I sit on my table. Next time I do a show, I'm going to take a picture. Before to, to you guys. Mm -hmm. The before is when I started using the Avon skincare. Look at me now. Yeah. I don't have to put an after picture with it. Yeah. You know, I've actually, I've actually had somebody say, why do you have a picture of that? Who is that person? Honestly, yeah. while they're looking at me straight in the face and looking at the picture and asking me who that is. So now let's go a different angle in the sales for those people that are like Kim that work full time. Uh, what what could what could you do? Um, because yeah, work is going to be important. It's your you know bread and butter while you're building your Avon business, how can you build sales when you're working 40 hour week? Um, I'm gonna try to jump in on that one again, and I hope maybe this will give Kim a nice little pointer. So she works in a junk, so she works in the scrap yard. Kim, have you actually thought about going live with one of our cleaning products? You did it once showing the toilet bowl cleaner how well that worked. I remember <laughs> that picture. You ever thought about going live at your shop and using one of our cleaning products on a dirty spot, like something dirty, just find some that you find some dirt that you know one of our products can handle and then do it right there on camera so they can see you're cleaning it up with using our product. But Kim, you're muted again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's right. yeah that would work that would be a good idea you know because you know it just depends on where you're because i've learned by by surroundings okay that this is what helped me a lot of times right now it's not really helping me but right at the time it was but mm -hmm. um and it's still could you look at your surroundings and then just start talking about whatever everybody else is talking about you know, and just kind of slowly sneak Avon into the conversation before they realize that they started talking about Avon. 
And another idea I've got <laughs> that's not a social media post, okay? Well, this isn't social media. This is well, it, yeah, it could be. But anyway, what about is there a bulletin board at your place of uh, uh, work? Whether, not really. Not really. But what about like when do you get a lunch break when you um, are at your work? No lunch <laughs> breaks. <laughs> You work right you get, through lunch, Kim? <laughs> most of the time. Or I'm like the runner, so I'll go and get food, and then we just eat in between customers. Okay. I do have my magnets on the doors of okay. my car, and okay. so I do have it there. And then um, one of the guys I work with r really likes the fragrances, the boy fragrances, okay. the clone. And so he'll tell anybody that'll listen about how good they are. He says they're better than the the mall ones. Okay. And so I did sell oh. one time one out of my stash. I had another cus another scrapyard customer want to buy his wife Christmas presents, and he asked if I had any stock. So I took my all my stock to work. Yeah. <laughs> and um, he bought stuff for his wife. And then um, I had but a you have that opportunity coming up in just a few weeks. You could have mother's you know, made Day. up gift sets for Mother's Day. Yeah. Or and you could ask, send all the guys at work. Or right. Ask them how much they want to spend. And yep. then you could put together a basket of that dollar amount. Yeah. That, that could be something. I and put together I, baskets one year for Christmas. Mm -hmm. My mom. My mom helps me a lot with my Avon, especially like vendor shows and stuff. She goes with me okay. and she was all excited about baskets and she's like, put them together for Christmas and, you know, sell them. I did not sell a single one. I ended up having to take them all back apart because I didn't sell a single one. So I don't know if I didn't do the right stuff or if that's just not what, you know, my customers want. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Well, you know, everybody's different. But also, I'm glad you mentioned that you've got your car sign, because that's an important tool to sh be able to share your business without through your mouth, you know? Oh, people my wife, mm -hmm. that remind me, you just remind me, last week I had an old lady come knocking on my door, I had no idea who she was, well, I do now, but at the time I didn't, because um, she saw my Avon sign while she was driving through the trailer park, so she stopped and asked for she said, I stopped, knocked on the door, and then asked me for a, a book. And since I was at the end of a, since we're getting close to, I gave her two books, one for the, this campaign and the next campaign, you know? So yeah, the signage just out on your own home can bring them at times. Signage out in your front yard, if you're able to. I know some people can't, we can't. Oh, yep. I have one in my front yard too. Okay. And I, I've had people, I had one lady the other day say that she's been watching my house for years looking for activity around my house to stop. Like, I got okay. two kids in sports and activities. <laughs> like, I don't get to sit at home very okay, often. You do this, Kim. But I she did call, she ended up getting a hold of me and, and I called her back. So that okay. was good. Okay. My name and phone number are on my sign in the in the front yard. Take a shepherd's hook and put some books. In a what in a literature bag? What's new bag? And I'm, close them up. You got to tuck in so that they don't get, um, you know, wet. I it wanted to do a cooler something. one time. Put a cooler on my porch okay. and put put a sign that they were in the cooler. And the cooler leaked. Like the cooler was full of water. Oh no! How? Like how did that? I, I've not ever used a cooler for dry. Because yeah. I've always put ice in it and used it for cold, yeah. but yeah, I thought that was I was so disappointed. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't or tried another. Maybe keyword. maybe yeah, because um, um, of weather, like some type of a box. But I've heard of people that just hang them on shepherd's hooks, five books or something by their sign, and then I people. Just, I don't know about the weather thing though. Like that's mm -hmm. the only concern that I have with a shepherd hook. I love that idea. Because mm -hmm. how easy would it be to put in those literature bags that we yeah. sell? Yeah. But what if it rains? And then I, you know, got to go there, out there and get there's them. There's a gal that I know uses shepherd's hooks all the time. 
And let me ask her on how she keeps them from getting wet. What state them. does she live in? Do you know? She lives in Illinois. In, oh, in this my so state. Yeah. So, you know, we have all the crazy weather that you guys right. have in Hawaii. Oh, let's not exactly. even talk about that crazy weather. Yeah, let's keep on the subject. Okay. Um, I do notice that it's almost been like a half hour, 45 minutes. So I, I'm going to, we can do this again. I think this is a great type of chat that maybe when it's not such a last minute thing that we could do and maybe get more participation and it could help a lot of people by just posting it. Um, but one other thing that I want to cover that I, I skipped when we went back to sales. But as you can see, just from the suggestions that we've gotten, there is all kinds of avenues to go to promote your business, whether or not you work full time, whether or not you don't have a car, whether or not you um, take care of elderly and, you know, just don't get out and talk to a lot of people. There's ways, there's ways to do it. But what I want to do next is just ask both of you that are on here and those of you listening, please get back to me with what's next. What's next for you? Huh, you kind of got me wondering what you mean by what's next. What's next? I mean, if you listen, you know, with what they said on the call, they said, some of them said that, Cancun was next, and some uh -oh. of them had another Ooh. level of sales. Um, and you know, there's different varieties on with angles you can go here. So, between just the two of you, take a turn and tell me what's next. I'm going to be honest right now. Right now, I really don't know what's next. I'm going to be brutally honest, and I okay. I hate being uncertain like this. But I think then maybe you, we need to maybe have a one-on-one. -on -one, that's what I'm, yeah. A one-on-one -on -one so with you, Roger, and let's right get now, to what's next, yeah. because then we can make those steps at what we need to do to achieve that what's right. next. Okay. Right. Kim, what's next for you? Um, I would like to, I'm not sure if this is the way you're, you're asking, okay. but- um, I am very excited about having these new teammates that I don't know where they came from. So I want to do better at following up with them. Um, I have reached out to all of them by text I one day. And then I also reached out to all of them by email because those are things that I can do around my schedule. Right, right. Okay. Whoops. I think we kind of recognize throw. them, recognize them for their first orders because you got so many new ones. So when they place their first order, regardless of what size it is, just you know, recognize them in your team Facebook page. And when they have good sales over $300 or whatever number you set it at, recognize them for that too. So right. I, think, I think you're froze, Kim. So I don't know. If you can hear us still or not, um, you'll you'll have to let me know. But there, that that that's a good. What's next? So um, I will ask everybody else out there that's watching this. What's next for you? Get back, mm -hmm. get back to me. Um, if if I'm your, you know, your Avon advisor, your closest upline. Let's do a one-on-one. -on -one. Let's talk about more. What's next? Let's talk about where you want your business to be a year from now, and then how we're how we're gonna get there. So uh, tomorrow, I want to just say, like they did, there is another a um, no. There's another live coming tomorrow night, I believe. Um, there it is. You back, Kim. Okay, you're back. Good. <laughs> I'm sorry, the Wi-Fi shut off. I don't oh, know what that's happened. All right. That's all right. Where you want to continue where you at? Yeah. So um I just had a problem finding them because there's a lot of them. Hopefully the ones that just joined um that I just found yesterday, 
Um, their names are a little bit more um, unique. So um, hopefully I can find them. But if not, like I need to, I sent them the welcome letter that I have um, an email that has my um, team name on it and yours, but mm -hmm. okay. we'll hope for one of them or both. That's um, all right. That's good. <laughs> um, so hopefully the, they'll reach out that way too. And then I need to call them. I need to figure out a time like the, I, I called the girl in California, but you know, she's three hours different. So on top of already having a busy schedule myself, I had to figure out when was the best time to call her. Cause I couldn't call her in my morning. Cause that would have been too early. early. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, that I, I need to work at that. Um, okay. Okay. that is, I, I like the idea of having a team. I'm not real good at, um, keeping up with my team but yet um you know i'm i'm the biggest fan okay. i can i can be here to help them on some things and otherwise then i pass them to you yeah um, <laughs> <laughs> but you know I, yeah i do well, what I can well do. let's 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 do a time that's good for you that we can do a little one-on-one -on, -one on that too and and we can you know figure out what might work because sometimes they won't even answer the phone either because they don't know you and you know I don't always answer the phone if I don't know the number so I can I relate to that. Plus, hey Kim, Kim, ask like ask Don about her. Ask Don when you have have your one on one with her. Ask her about the two text messages that she sends out when she gets brand new team members that she don't know. Okay. I have those. I have those on a sticky note on my monitor. That's how. That's how good those are. Okay. <laughs> I okay. do like um, the the question on one of the questionnaires of when you got a new team member. If you meet with them or call them, whether it's face to face or call them, one of the questions on there was, "What is your preferred method of communication?" Right. You know like face-to-face -face, text email facebook you know whatever zoom. it is i mean I, it could be zoom we could open up a zoom chat if they're comfortable i love with that, that question i love 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 that question um i just need to ask it okay and, and that is good in a text too to ask mm -hmm. a question in the la in just a sh two sentences who you are and ask a question and that will get them sometimes to answer the other thing that may get them to answer if they haven't responded in a couple days is send them a text saying hi do you get text at this number yep. don't say who you are that's text number one that's text <laughs> number one. Don't say who you are. Just say, do you get text? And they'll come back with, who is this? Ah! You know, they get text. You get them. <laughs> and then that's when you like, well, for me, like that with Dawn, her second text, hi, this is Dawn with Ava. This is Dawn, and I'm your advisor. See, that's those two texts I was telling you about, Kim. Yeah. Okay. okay. So, I was like, so do see. wonders. You find, they, you find out if they text message without them even knowing who you are yet yeah yeah so that 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 will sometimes snag them okay and i call that snagging because right. they're not responding to me when i give them my name because they're afraid a lot of times they're afraid think about when you first started what you felt like i know roger you called me right away you weren't afraid but <laughs> <laughs> no i wasn't how but, the heck i even called you the day before i joined under you when I, when I started, remember, I was very shy. I was a wallflower until I got going with my Avon business and they could be that way too. And they're- afraid. I'm sorry, I can't picture that, Don. <laughs> I can't picture that. You being I know, shy nobody, nobody can, but really I am. It's true. It's really true. It's really true. Yeah, Darwin- And we didn't have, we didn't started. have internet either. You know, so we didn't have Facebook. And didn't have all the email tools that we have today. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it's very different. When I started building years my ago. team, I had to use email or phone call. And, um, you know, you now. couldn't even email until about 10 years ago. 
Yeah, and now, and now, you know, text is the key way to first connect with some, but not with all. So, and remember, as far as the connection goes with someone new, they may be in a weird situation that we don't know about. And they may have just signed up because it's free and they knew they needed to do something, but they don't know what to do and they're scared to death. And so sometimes it takes every three, four weeks a follow-up with them before they you finally break through the ice because the ice is could be very thick. Yeah, so, I gotta do some follow-ups myself here before tomorrow because I think about it. Yeah, so so again, I'm glad you brought that up because that's a great way to end this. Follow-up is the key to your business. Whatever connection you make, whether it's at a event, whether it's someone that you just ran into that you're giving a book, need to get a phone number, need to get you know, and the way to ask for that is don't just ask for their phone number. Just say, is email or text better for you? Don't give them the other option. Email or text better for you. If text is best, they're going to give you their phone number. Yeah. And then point out on the back of the book, my information is right here. I'll just check back with you. Same way when you're in a restaurant. When you're in where shopping, you know, always have a sample with you with your information and carry a notebook so you can write down their information. Dollar trees are the best people to talk to. They're in there because they don't have a lot of money. So right. the opportunity is there maybe spend a half an hour in a Dollar Tree, just going from aisle to aisle talking. Oh my God, that's too easy to do in our new Dollar Tree. We got a big store. <laughs> that's too easy. Last time I went in the Dollar Tree, I think I walked out almost an hour and a half later. What about, what about a grocery? What about a grocery What's store? That? When you're in the grocery store getting groceries for the family, how, how can you share Avon that way too? Okay, oh, so okay. think about the things that you're already doing, you know, if you're working full time or whatever, things that you're already doing, and you're going to you know, bring Avon into the conversation some way. Okay. All right, so let's, I just want to stress to everybody watching, please watch the calendar, Avon, cut it down a little bit but they're giving out so much information um, that it's hard for me to even keep up with it. So I know it's hard for all of you, but as you get new people into your team, they did talk tonight about a four week training that's coming up. So Avon's willing to train our new people. Let's take advantage of it, right? Exactly. Get them connected. Yeah, I didn't hear that part of that, Don. Now you caught my interest. Yeah. That four week training. So, I'm gonna have to go back and cat I've got to go back and watch the replay. Yeah, they said that at the end that there's a four I must have missed training. that at the end. A four week right. it's also been posted on Avon USA representatives okay. as well. Yeah, yeah, that 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 same thing will be posted there. So you'll be able to just click on the replay and fast forward to the end. So okay. Thanks. Okay. Thank you, Kim and Roger, for coming on and for, you know, sharing with us. And like I said, we're going to do more of these teams. So uh, be ready that if you can come on with us and share some things. Um, I mean, what, how can I support you? That's the key right now. How can I support you? You can tell my Hawaiian highlights in my hair a little bit. <laughs> The trip was wonderful. Go to Cancun if you can, because now you need Cancun highlights. I know it. it it's you know, Mary, is good for that. Mary and I had a great time, and um, so 
the next Zoom that we do next next week on Monday night, we will um, have Mary talk about our trip. So definitely put that on your calendar for next Monday night, the Monday after Easter. I hope that um, it works, even though it's the day after a holiday, um, that you guys can join me on the Zoom for an hour. Uh, and we will uh, share recognition and all that stuff and update every new thing that Avon is bringing out. I'm trying to keep up, but boy, I tell you, it's hard for me to keep up. So I'm, I'm trying to keep sharing as much as I can. So anyway, thanks again for those of you watching. Thanks, Kim and Roger. I appreciate you coming on and we'll see you next Monday night. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.